Romans chapter 1 verse 11. Let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for giving the joy of reflecting from biblical truths. Lord, we also thank for the life and witness of one of the great ministers, St. Paul, who wrote the letter to the Romans, or help us to understand his writings in order to be thy co-worker in building the kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <clears throat> When Paul wrote this letter, he had many things in his mind to communicate to this church in Rome. This was the last letter written by St. Paul, supposedly in the year AD 57. And he says here now that he is willing to teach the church in Rome. And because of that only, he wanted to visit the church in Rome. We take a lot of messages in learning academic things from LKG to plus two, parents, they take much measures to get them proper education. It is like an investment upon the children's education. In turn, we have returns. Some become very good, successful students, and they get good jobs, and they are placed in very good companies. Some become doctors, engineers, and so on. But in case of learning Bible and theological things, we are not very particular to learn. Paul was one of the great teachers of the gospel. He was teaching and preaching wherever he was traveling and wherever he was asked to preach. And that's why he says, I long to see you. I long to see you. Before meeting them first time, he writes this letter. But the rest of the letters were written to those churches which were instituted by him, where he has ministered for long, long months. In Ephesus, he stayed for three years. From there one day he wrote to Corinthians, 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians in AD 55. When he was writing to the Rome, to the Corinthians, he says that Second Corinthians chapter eleven, chapter eleven, Second Corinthians chapter eleven, verse twenty-eight. Besides everything else. I face daily the pressure of my concern for all the churches. A motherly approach by St. Paul. Besides everything else, he lists, he lists out so many kinds of uh, sufferings and persecution he had already met with. But 
he did not care about all these things but he mentioned that sufferings and finally he is now writing which is the most important one he did not bother about the sufferings which bothered much was that concern for all the churches concern for all the churches he was not an official leader of the churches he was an ordinary apostle gospel worker teacher writer publisher but he is concerned about the churches in <clears throat> most of the uh, churches those were in asia minor that is uh, mostly in turkey and greece <clears throat> i long to see you i long to see you that so he expresses his concern towards this church i long to see you so that i may impart to you i can give you i can place before you i can bring you what spiritual gift to make you strong four things in this verse i long to see may impart to you especially some good spiritual gifts in order to make them strong strong in faith strong in the knowledge of the love of god and that's so this book this letter to the romans is very very important is very very important how he was able to teach he was very well a learned person uh, in acts chapter 22 it is recorded by st paul acts 22 verse 1 3 from 3 let me read i am a zoo born in Tarsus of Cilicia but brought up in this city under Gamaliel Gamaliel was one of the familiar teachers of the law and he claims to be a student under Gamaliel I studied under Gamaliel I was thoroughly trained in the law of our fathers and was just as jealous for God as any of you or today he himself witnesses that i was trained by gamaliel and that's why without any fear and very courageously he was able to teach the book of laws and the gospel of our lord jesus christ we know that lord and savior jesus christ that of the galatians was a second letter by saint paul first one was the ever first one little by st paul was thessalonians and secondly galatians and he lists out the importance of the spiritual gifts paul was the one who was able to list out very very important things to be taught to the very young church we need to keep in mind when there was no written bible when there was no order of worship book when there was no hymn book only jews were able to learn orally those laws taught by rabbis there were many gentiles predominantly roman church was occupied by uh, gentiles non jewish people and that's why he want to teach them basic things from bible basic things from bible the custom was that 
when no competent persons were not there in the church or again a given place where the people assemble they will simply break the bread celebrate the holy eucharist and disperse custom as that apostles they are allowed to preach and those who were with apostles were permitted to preach and those who had seen apostles or had seen the apostles co-workers were allowed to preach that went up to ad 120 and that's why the gospels were written there were 18 gospel book of gospels were written but during the time of canonization second century ad they have taken only four gospels only four gospels were recognized as to be used by the church and they believed those four gospels only will lead them to faith there is still gospel according to saint philip saint thomas but those are not made available to the general public or congregation they are kept in uh, vatican archives now when he wrote to galatians he lists out the spiritual gifts <coughs> galatians 5 from 22 about love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self control by writing so he wanted to teach them the values of the kingdom of god or the character features of the kingdom of god and these letters were read in all other churches that was the custom when he meant it for corinthians after reading the letter that will be sent to galatians and philippi and thessonia likewise <coughs> those letters will be circulated therefore he became very famous teacher in teaching explaining the meaning of the gospel of our lord jesus and again in romans chapter 1 after recording these ideas he says that that is that you and i may be mutually encouraged by each other's faith see he was willing to learn from them he was not only a teacher but he wants to learn from them i do not want you to be another of another brothers that i planned many times to come to you in order that i might have a harvest among you as we know this was the last letter and this was the last mission to uh, rome and first mission to the rome but many a times he was planning to go there in order to preach the gospel and see the fruit out of his teaching and ministry and says again just i as i have heard among the other gentiles since many in the romans were gentiles he mentions this just i as i have heard among the other gentiles in other places especially in in, in philippi that city was built by roman government that was meant for army veterans after the retirement they used to settle down in philippi most of the were gentiles very rich they were supporting the war and they were with the roman empire 
but many became Christians by the preachings of St. Paul. And that's why he writes here, just as I have heard among the other Gentiles, I need some kind of harvest in Rome as well. I am obligated both to Greeks and non-Greeks, both to the wise and the foolish. That is why I am so eager to preach the gospel also to you who are at Rome. For me, everybody is equal. I was teaching in the places where Greek was the official language. Now I have come here to preach the word of God to non-Greeks, that is Latin-speaking community. To the Latin-speaking community, I have come. This means I am commissioned to preach the gospel to you, to you. Gospel is the most important part of his life. When he was a very <clears throat> much against the ministry of our Lord, he was opposing and persecuting Christians. After accepting our Lord Jesus, he became number one servant in preaching the word of God that is recorded in Acts of Apostle chapter 9, verse 15, where God sends him to all the Gentiles. All the Gentiles. Acts, let me conclude with this, reading with this word. Acts chapter 9, verse 15. Go, this man is my chosen instrument to carry my name before Gentiles and their knees and their kings and before the people of Israel. I will show him how much he must suffer for my name. After the conversion, he started doing the ministry of preaching the word of God. Let us pray. Gracious Lord, help us to be a good learners of the values of the kingdom of God. Help us to realize the need of learning from biblical truth in order to be thy true witnesses in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.